it'll take too long to decide. So I made this what I wanted it to be. Simple. What if Deku had Figaku Sharingan? We haven't done a what if Deku in like an, uh, a long ass time. Like, I've honestly just been doing Naruto ones. Well, it feels like it's been a year since I've done a what if Deku. And it quite literally feels like it. So this is what if Deku had Fugaku Sharingan. Someone on Discord just like request like I sh I shown multiple different Sharingan. I drew some Sharingan, not the best, but eh, they're okay. We had Itachi's Mangeki Sharingan, three to to more Sharingan Fugaku, Mangeki Sharingan, Injures a mess. Izuna's MS, Obito and Kakashi's MS, Madara's MS, Marker MS, Nairi MS, Rai MS, Sasuke MS, Shenushiha MS, Baru MS, Shishui MS, and a special MS I invented for no reason. I was expecting Shishui honestly because of his abilities, but for Goku, I get to have fun doing this. I just want to listen to some Juice World, I can't lie. I get to make up the abilities. So, he definitely has Amaterasu. And apparently his special abilities are Genjutsu. So he has like a Tsukiyomi state, but way stronger. When I say way stronger, he can make it go on as long as he wants. Like sure, to you it's a one second bot. To the person in it, is, no. To you, you can make it as long as you want. So you can make this torture go on and on and on. You can even leave the area to get some food and just to make it continue. Feel, make it feels like an infinite amount of time, an uncountable amount of time that they've been in a Tsukuyomi and tortured and shit. You have no boundaries in it as well. Like you can use Amaterasu and this actually burns their skin like on the outside of it. So that like what you do to them in the Tsukuyomi is going to hurt them outside of the Tsukuyomi. You all know Bakugo is going to get beat up. You all know he's going to beat the shit out of Bakugo. Because no one likes Bakugo. And they, we all want him dead. Like, Oh, and he has a Black Susano ribcage. Yeah, my nigga. Black Susano ribcage. Like, this, so this is the first stage, I guess. Second stage. This he shrinks his Susano into like a small armor that he can wear. And then we have this. You cannot tell me this isn't the best looking Susano we've ever seen. If you say the regular ones in the series, and you see the swords, right? He has four arms. He has four, you see that you see the two arms he has. He has four arms and two swords. This is and he has four swords. This is basically what I was looking for, bro. Basically. But he just doesn't use... He just doesn't have the four swords in his hand. I knew exactly what I was looking for. But anyway... Deku... Deku was born with... Deku's born... Like... He, his eyes don't open like... He, he's... He's fine, right? He's fine. But he, his eyes don't open for like an hour. And when they do, oh my god, they see the eyes. And they're accidentally put in a Tsukuyomi. Tortured in it. Then they come out as a... This child's, this child's eye is so dangerous. Like... Inko is so scared. They just to take the eyes out they grow back in and the eyes that they took out disappear all right they're like yeah you can't take this quirk. it's basically his quirk and this is how it's gonna work isn't isn't i'm gonna say uh, half of the time i don't want it to be a quirk i've uh, i'm gonna say it's a quirk that can't be taken it's an ability it's not a quirk it doesn't show up as a quirk, so Bakugo doesn't really Bakugo says, ha, villain, villain, because your eye is red. You have some black stuff in your eye, and it's red. 
Daku told you the shit out of him. And the Sukuyomi. When they come out, when they come out of the Sukuyomi, I, let's just say, Bakugo saw was hor- horrific. He was bleeding all over. Did he just hold up the pro heroes? They couldn't do shit. They were like, stop, stop, what are you doing? And like, this shit went on for five minutes. This one, after he finished, Bakugo was traumatized, bruised, and beaten. So, like, so he didn't even touch him, and yet he's. Uh, he, it looks like he was beat the shit out of by all oh my. Quite literally. So it's like, alright, well, this is a big no no. They're like, don't come near my no no square, bro. But that's it's just. That's how big of a no no it is, bro. That's how much they think. Th- alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop chatting shit anyway. Uh. Shit. Um. So we've been a skip a few years. Bakugo still thinks he's the best. But Deku learns his Amaterasu. He learns how to control his Sikuyomi. He learns about the Susana Rip Cage. He only has the first stage. No sword. Uh, he has the Chibok Tensei. He has all that type of shit. No, I w- I would say. He could make it really gravity instead of having to box tensi so you can push it towards him and push it away. And then you can play it. That's basically the same thing as like the running gun. No, I'm retconning it. He can pull he can control black holes as well. He uses black holes to manipulate space and gravity. Theoretically pulling things towards him. That's basically what it is. <sighs> so, yeah, After, um, I'm gonna say we had a, a two year time skip. So, like, it's so, like, it's so, like, Deku's 13. Yeah, Deku's 13. Oh. Uh, Mok still thinks he's the best. There's a very important event that's gonna happen. There's gonna be two villain attacks at the start. This is the first one happens. The first one, all my all my is fighting a villain. Deku walks up seeing this like kid is dangerous. Alright? Then all my sees this kid walking in, he's like he stops. Then the villain's about to attack all my the Sukuyomi activates. The villain's stunned. Right, he can't move. And they see his eyes roll into the back of his head. The Deku just walks away. And they see his eyes out. And he's kind of famous in the city unit. You know, that's what I'm saying. He's known as Midoriya the Wicked Eye. Or Zuku the Wicked Eye, whatever. And the, like, that's him. That's him. Oh yeah, the villain's not dead, but like he's a bloody and shit. That's why the eye, his eyes roll bugger. Alright. Forget what I said, he's just bruised and bloody and shit. And has, like, he's lost his arms. They're like, I don't know what he he, he does when he freezes them. Does he freeze time? Because if he freezes time and does that type of shit, having no weapons on him, this ability could be used to destroy the, uh, uh, the number one hero. Oh my, simple. No one could compare. Deku. <laughs> Deku won't have to go through the cast of hatred like the rest of the Uchiha and Naruto. No, I just get bored of that shit. People talk about the cause of hatred, all that shit, but it's coming from Indra. Hashirama made this shit happen. Only if he chose... Only if he chose Indra. If he chose Indra, tried to get him to change his ways, if it worked, 
Hey. Boss still. Alright. So, Deku, Deku, like I'm saying they trying to recommend him into UA. Deku knows about his abilities. People think he, he, he just uses eye abilities, and that, but he can't destroy any robots with it, but he can torture the shit out of villains, quite literally, to get information out of them. So, like, <laughs> like what, what are we going to do? Like, what's he gonna do in the test? When Dek but Deku says no, he shows up to the robots. Bakugo says, Deku, your quirk is a flashy. You, you, you don't have anything that can do anything against robots. Alright, this pisses Deku off. Deku's like, I'm a Taurus. Bakugo goes up in black flames. And he's like, he's burning so much. They can see his skin decaying away. And Deku stops it by clicking something. Alright? But. So. Um. Ah, Bakugo is on the floor, wailing in pain from what just happened. The hero is a short jerk. This black flames has a torturous ability. What's next? W honestly, just what's next? I like. I think. I think we could. I th like. I think that's it. Probably. Maybe. Like, and apparently, he has no quirk. So like this. This shit does not make sense. Deku doesn't use Amaterasu. No. He activates his Susano, shocking everyone even more. So like. So so you're saying. He has a black skeleton around him, destroying robots for him. He has the ability to make black fire that disintegrates your skin like the smallest of touch. In like one second, like in zero point one seconds, or like this is what this is like. What more? What more is there? Is there anything else? At this point, I wouldn't be shocked if he could fly. If he could create the universe, uh, people are just shocked from his abilities and shit. Because they're thinking it's some overpowered shit. It's like, oh shit, that shit can be. That shit can be all my. Like, I'm not, I'm not that much. I like, cannot without, like, this, his eyes. Like, if he didn't have his eyes, he couldn't be all my. But he has his eyes, so, like. Anyway. This is one of the nicest looking that Sharukan can out. I have to acknowledge that. It's one of the nicest looking Sharukan can out there. Like, if this wasn't created, I don't know. I'll probably do Indra's Mangeki Sharukan. The one that's literally a hypnotism circle. Oh, so. That's. And that, yeah, the sludge villain happens, and Deku, like, beats the shit out of it with a Susano. Literally just keep, like, he activates black flames on the sword, just keep slicing and dicing the shit out of it. And, like, he has four arms now, he has the ribcage, four arms, swords, now he can do that shit. When all my seasons, that like, wait, no, I, I skipped. I just remember, I'm not. Alright, I'm, let me go back in time. The sludge villain in Bakugo and Deku were talking about it. All that shit, and all my talking about it. He's talking about what he saw. Alright, so, so he's not gonna have his full black ribcage yet. He just has his regular black ribcage. Yeah. And so. Deku has to use Amaterasu. Deku uses swords in this, by the way. I mean, what's the point of not giving him a sword? When most of Chi are use swords. <laughs> or like any type of shop. Ah, I'm gonna stop it. So. He, he beats the shit out of it. 
escapes goes to Bakugo, Deku, and Deku can't be bothered. He just yawns. He walks away, and then the Deku's, and then the villain's frozen. And then when Deku's gone, the villain is a powder. Like it's like, it's like ashes on the floor. The like, what did this kid do to it? And then all that's like trying to see. Like, no, you should kill. You should kill the villain's kid. You should. No, like, no, 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 she's wrong. No one. If if Deku snapped, if he really wanted to, he could generally. Like, he could generally kill him. Simple. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say Deku unlocks the infinite Sukiyomi. And there's there's also the. Uh, Uchiha tablet. I'm gonna say only a select few of, few heroes know about the infinite Sukiyomi. Like, if he unlocks the infinite Sukiyomi, stop the infinite Sukiyomi from getting the Renny Shodan gun. We're all, we're all fucked because he, he can bend us to his will. He should literally make some of the strongest thing alive, like making anyone his ally. <laughs> Alright, this is part one. Let me know if you want part two and goodbye. Hey, put the beam on my glass for my accuracy. Bitch, you know that I'm tough like a refugee. But you know you get dead if you step to me. I was only 15 with a felony. Yeah, whole lot of ops, so the party got red. Big ass crib, but it's blood on the set. Call the Glock, knock it, put a nigga in tape. How you gon' breathe when I shot him in the neck? Yeah, the ops stay famous, I put them on TV. It's a house on my neck and it's filled with BB. I walked down on him and he didn't even see me. Hollow tips in this Glock, this shit is not BB. I'm the only rapper that's down for a body. I don't need a drug, I don't need no molly. Bitch, I'm EBK, I shoot everybody. I always got the gun, it's glued to my body Shoot him in the hip if you turn to a runner Gun in the purse like a nigga, I ain't gonna Catch